A Chinese whistleblower steps forward to expose a controversial medical practice in China, human gene editing. What does a perfect man or a customized human mean? NTD's Tiffany Meyer brings us more. First, we look to a controversial medical study in China, gene editing techniques. He Jiankui, an associate professor at China Southern University of Science and Technology, was arrested for editing the genes of twin baby girls two years ago. But the scandal is only a piece of the Chinese regime's plans for this type of science, with an end goal being able to genetically modify humans on a large scale. Earlier this month, an insider released a report on Chinese social media platform Weibo. It featured the contents of a speech by a Chinese genome sequencing company CEO. The remarks discuss gene editing and the potential for creating so-called customized humans. Insider Wang Deming identified himself as director of Jiangsu's operation center, part of the National Gene Bank Cell Center. He posted a number of photos from Wang Jian's speech back in 2018. Wang Jian is the chairman of Beijing's Genomics Institute, also known as BGI Group. A photo of the presentation shows titles for different parts of the speech, detailing what BGI Group is working on. Among the titles are phrases like "gene editing" and "embryo modification," as well as one questioning whether it's possible to change fate. Also on screen during the presentation, the text explains BGI Group is also working with scientists from other countries, and together they've edited the genes of 58 embryos. One photo depicted the concept of embryo gene editing from the speaker's point of view. The Chinese characters featured on the picture reveal the goal of the practice: genetically engineering a perfect human. The speaker also touched on the concept of human cloning. As for when the technology may be available, he said man-made life is in sight. As the report's insider pointed out, the speaker also mentioned plans to quote customize humans and artificially synthesize life. He similarly claimed they would combine eggs from a female celebrity with sperm from a certain mayor, as well as collect the genetic material of national leaders to be used as data in their research. The insider turned whistleblower labeled the claims as having no ethics and no conscience. According to Chinese media reports, the Nanjing municipal government signed an agreement with BGI Group on May 20th, 2018. The city's Communist Party secretary and Wang Jian, the speaker mentioned above, attended the event and signed the agreement. BGI Group denied the allegations of gene editing practices, claiming the Jiangsu Gene Bank Operation Center does not exist, and accusing the whistleblower of releasing fake information. BGI did admit they edited human embryos, but claimed no gene editing babies were born. The whistleblower's posts were once popular on Chinese social media, but they have since been deleted. On the other hand, BGI's statement is widely available online. The Chinese Communist Party's media mouthpiece CCTV even circulated the statement. But a number of Chinese netizens are questioning the statement. They say they follow a rule to help determine what rumors are true. The more authorities refute the rumors, the more truthful they are.